Hi everyone, this is Dory from the Victor Farmington Library and I'm here to tell you about our team Take and Make Craft for October. This month we are making these super cute do-it-yourself water bead stress balls. These are really easy to make. If you are able to stop by the library in October, we will have kits available that you can pick up and bring home and the kit will have everything you need to make one of these aside from the water if you weren't able to pick out a, up a kit or if you're watching this at a later time and the kits are no longer available um, this is what you're going to need first just a clean empty water bottle and then about a teaspoon of water beads just a small amount no more than a teaspoon you will also need some water and finally a balloon. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is simply pour our water beads into the empty water bottle. Now we're just going to fill the water bottle up with water. see the little beads at the bottom there it's going to take about a day for these to fully absorb the water so you're just going to want to put this down and let it sit for a day um, keep an eye on it at one, some point most of the water will probably be absorbed and you will want to add a little bit more water to the bottle so that they can keep expanding to their full size so we're going to let this sit and come back tomorrow and make our stress ball All right, we're back. It's been about 24 hours. We've let the water beads sit and absorb water and we're ready to make our stress ball. So first, what we're gonna do is just pour out any excess water that's in the bottle with the water beads. I'm just gonna put my finger over the top to keep the water beads from falling out. All right, and here's our water beads. I love water beads so much. I kind of want to just keep this bottle sitting around so I can look at it. This is so pretty, but we're going to make a stress ball. <laughs> so just take your bottle full of water beads, take your balloon and just stretch. Well, actually, before we try and put the water beads in, we're going to blow up the balloon a couple of times just to stretch it out. You don't need to blow it up all the way. There you go, just to stretch it out a little. Now we're going to just stretch the balloon over the top of the water bottle. And simply pour the water beads into the balloon. There they go. And we're going to do this until we've used up about half the beads in the water bottle. I have to really squish it. Pull it off. Now all we're going to do is just tie it. And there's your stress ball. So fun. See the balloon I used did get clear once it stretched out a little bit. Whenever you feel tense, grab your stress ball, squish it around. Feels really cool with those water beads. So you should also have some leftover water beads. You can use it to make another stress ball if you want, or, Put it in a container 
You can use them to water your plants if you want, or stick some plant cuttings in it and they'll grow. All right, I hope you enjoyed making your stress ball. We'll see you soon.